we're going to be removing this small section of fence and gate and replacing it with all new wood frame same thing but new so here's a look i think this return here is 15 feet then we're going to also be doing the same thing on the other side So I think is about 13 feet. On this side, we're gonna be uh, adding another gate here in the center. From this to this. There's a cap and crown cedar fence. It has uh, this small section here has two gates. One, one smaller pedestrian gate and then one a little bit larger. So on this gate here, I built the, the cap and crown to uh, overextend. So that way it actually free floats on this um, post here. So that free floats over the frame. Um, and then this one is the small pedestrian gate. Now I'll look from the inside. So that's this side. On the other side, we did a small pedestrian gate with a return fence. That fence is a fence I did about a month or so ago. A vehicle crashed in there. So I just replaced the section of fence that was damaged by the vehicle crashing into the fence. Just the other side. It's going uphill, so it has a slope. The other side is level across the top. I still need to put the hardware, the locking mechanism on it. That's it right there. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and stain. We're gonna stain this wood. I'm gonna use this product here. Cabot, I believe. A sunlit walnut color. This is the final reveal of the finished product. Just a wood fence with a wood gate. Painting the uh, the one side. And this side is raw. Here's a look at the other side. 
This section here has two pedestrian gates, one uh, normal size and then another one that's a little bit larger. And then give you guys a look from the other side. So there you have it, that gate's pretty sturdy. And then of course on this bigger gate we got three hinges.